Okay, so first off, as you can see, I'm in MinOS. Um, this is in TrueNAS, so this is more applicable here. But everything in MinOS should still apply if you're not running in a TrueNAS server. So the first thing you have to do is open up your file explorer and then go to where you saved your server. And then you want to right click and then send to compress zip folder. Then you have a .zip file. All right, so once you have uh, your zip file, you need to copy this into your MinOS server. If you're running TrueNAS, you have to enable SFTP first for the jail. And you do that by going to shell. And basically you enable SSH start. And then if you want to keep this enabled on boot, you use this command right here. And then we said, yeah, there you go. Yes, for enabled. The next thing you need is a software called WinSCP. Basically, it allows you to drag and drop files into your server. You need the IP address of your MinOS jail. To find that, you go to your... Then it's going to be right here. So we have 192.168.0.125. Log in. Yes. And then I saw the default, so MC server, MC server. Okay. And then you want to drag your zip file in the var games minecraft and then import and this is my server right here I mean, it might take a while depending on how big your server is this is like 800 megs so depending on your internet speed too it might take a while all right there we go and now we go back into mc server and then we'll be right here on import a server and you'll see right here create server from archive before you can start your server you need, you need to download the profile so you go to profiles and then you can check if you go back to your server file you can you have to check what uh version you're running on so i'm on forge and then 2859 so what i want to do is go to forge and then 1.12.2 and then 2859 this one it's important to check because the latest version is not the version that I'm currently running. Alright, there we go. And then we go back to server status. And then now we have a profile to pick. And change the jar file to this 2859. And then, I guess you hit start for the first time, it'll ask you these things. And then max RAM, uh, I don't remember the exact number for 8 gigs. But there you go. Hit start. Yeah, and it's not starting. So this is what happened. <laughs> and this is where we cut to my second video where I show you what to do in this situation. Uh, we'll be back. All right, so this is what's supposed to happen when you hit start. All right, there you go. And this log file shows up. And yeah, basically, it's just the normal log console you'd see if you run it um this from windows or something but yeah that's about it for this one if you see my next videos it's all about errors and bugs i've had trying to run mine os in a true nas jail long story short is don't do it but if you do want to try hopefully i was able to help a little bit i think my game plan is going to be to run a vm and just run it like a linux vm or something just just run the launch server command or something from there i think mine os is great when it works but a lot of time it doesn't work so it's just definitely not ready yet if you want to you know have something that's stable anyways uh that's all for this one thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one